in interior elements, relationships are extremely important, in fact, paramount to, to everything that we do, whether it's working with team members internally, problem solving, um, or trying to figure out you know, a specific design element, whether it's walls or furniture related. And then I also think that as we progress to what I'll call the exterior of the business being, whether we're working with an, an end user or a client or a general contractor that's part of the project, or an architect and designer that's also part of the project. And we have solutions that we have out there that help us um, meet design criteria and achieve a client's needs. If we don't have a strong relationship, we're probably not gonna progress further with helping that client get what they need. When we sat down with Brassfield and Gorey, one of the things that they said to us is they want to attract the younger workforce and they needed to create a brand that would attract them to do that. And one of those things is an open office work environment so that they can learn from those sitting around them and not have to go and find somebody because that could be very intimidating. Our department was strung down corridors and uh, across and we were trying to maximize and get everybody windows and what we found after 12 years of that, we're, we were spread across 30,000 square feet, 40 people. And we were disjointed and relationships depended on adjacency. And so how do we get everybody to where they are functioning and humming along as one unit and, and got each other's back and a lot of trust and the things that I think are cool about Brassville and Gorey. At Interior Elements, we have an amazing culture. Uh, everyone relies on one another. It's just a, a group of, of A players. And the beauty of that is that everybody's comfortable with one another. Everybody's comfortable with the decisions one another makes. And it gives me as an individual, for an example, the autonomy to do you know, what I think is best for, for our company, for IE, and what's best for the client. From the beginning, Interior Elements dug in to the problem we were trying to solve. They invested a lot of energy in, in digging around and trying to figure it out and came with a really cool proposal that really lined up with our values, our mission, what we were trying to do. The real magic happened when we interviewed the people. And so getting to talk to Brian and Meredith and Rankin and those folks, that that's where it was like, okay, I feel comfortable with this person, I can trust you. And I know that you're gonna do your best to figure this problem out with us. Cause that's what construction is, it's, it's solving problems. And you wanna solve problems locked arms instead of across the table. We really get to learn a lot about a lot of different industries, whether it be um, a general contractor that we're doing work for in their specific office, or an A&D firm where we might be doing work for their office, or somebody that's an IT that we're working with an A&D firm and a general contractor to get that client's needs. And at the end of the day, it's neat to help problem solve and understand what folks are trying to achieve on a day-to-day -day basis from a, a business functionality standpoint to help them meet their client's goals.